In this video, I'm going to be returning to the old and gold Call of Duty World at War. Call of Duty World at War is uh, a very old game, but today I'm going to be returning to the campaign, multiplayer, and zombies, and I'm going to be rating the game from 1 to 10 onto a tier list. So if you guys, of course, enjoy this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and yeah, tell me what Call of Duty I should do this on next, and I'll see you guys in the video. Goodbye, everyone. Also, before I start this video, I just want to say I was born well before World at War, so this is personally more of like a childhood perspective as well, uh, if you may add that, if that counts, but uh, yeah, just so you guys know that. So I launched up my World at War and here it was, the Call of Duty World at War campaign. And I started on the campaign level Semper Fi, as everyone does, and um, this guy just got absolutely f***ed up. But yeah, then we got saved, and here was this guy with a beautiful pistol and helmet, and yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. So later on in campaign, I saw my brother Takio die. Um, that was pretty sad to see, not gonna lie. We'll see more of him later though. And we got to the next area, where we had to bring down an MG. It was uh, pretty cool, but uh, we got that. And as soon as that was done, um, one of my brothers got, um, yeah. So right after, we went to the next area where we took care of some people that were trying to bring our men down. It was, uh, not that hard of a fight, honestly. Keep in mind, I'm playing this campaign on the normal difficulty. No hard, no veteran, so yeah, it was pretty easy to get through. And then we went through the forest and we got to this area where we thought everyone was dead on the ground. And um, we quickly took care of these people and we went to the last area of the campaign. I grabbed my knife and I stabbed this barrel that left an oil, oil trail. And um, yeah, we set it on fire and we went straight in. So right after I did that, I had to go into this bunker, sort of. I uh, just quickly shoot that guy. And I had to plant the explosives and we had to go to the boat. So right after I, went, I planted the explosives, I went over to the boat and there I got jump scared by a guy i'm not gonna lie i played this campaign like i said like four to five times and this guy keeps jump scaring me even though i just know it's gonna happen but yeah even then i still got jump scared so right after i just got slashed by an absolute monster of a katana my boy was here to save me and drag me onto the boat and we safely got out so i know this was a little bit quick but i do gotta say as a first mission for a campaign i absolutely loved it it's packed full of story we're captured we escape, and yeah, I gotta say, the campaign, uh, I was gonna play more levels, but I genuinely was not gonna play the entire campaign, um, if you guys want me to do that at some point, just let me know, and I'll re-rate the game, but in my opinion, the campaign, it's packed, but like I said, it's a little bit quick, the ending of this campaign is absolutely awesome as well, if you guys haven't seen already, there's a clip going to be on the screen right now, as long as you live, the heart of this army can never be broken, the campaign, I'm not gonna lie, I loved it. I loved it. I'm just gonna give it a 9 out of 10. I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. On to the multiplayer. Ah, <sighs> well that war multiplayer. I'm actually surprised because when I launched this game, there was a whole server list. Like there's a server with like 30 plus people in it at all times, which I'm not gonna lie, I've I've kind of been playing a lot. I um other than that, I'm not gonna be completely biased towards me playing this game like every single day now. I'm just gonna be going off the overall experience, and in my opinion, for the fifth Call of Duty game, this still to this day plays absolutely amazing. I mean, the gunplay is nice. If you go into these servers, like there are so many different playstyles. You don't see people slide canceling around, b hopping and stuff. Like everyone's just chill and just like how call of duty was supposed to be played and i gotta be honest i got a couple of clips here for you guys so um yeah i hope you guys will enjoy that and uh yeah i'll see you guys right after them <laughs> oh my god with so many players, I can barely move. <laughs> See, and the non-moving part might sound like something really bad, but in my opinion, it was amazing seeing so many people actually play World at War in 2024. I gotta be honest, normally a lot of these servers will have bots. This one had zero bots. I was up against 
real and real people only honestly it was a really great experience so i've played a total of i'm pretty sure it was three multiplayer games and out of the three games i thought this is enough to make my decision i played one game with smg and assault rifles the other game i played well tried to play with sniper and of course the last game i tried to play with another sniper rifle which i absolutely loved i've heard people say world at war is not the best for sniping i'm sorry but you cannot tell me this clip is not clean Oh, all right. That's one way to end off multiplayer. Holy sh! Okay, okay. I know that was just a lucky shot. But from the rest of the gameplay, like the first clip I showed you guys, just the triple kill directly off the rip, off spawn. It, it felt amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I know I was using iron sights, and many of you might think, "Wow, Red, you're such a b for using iron sights." I I don't care. I really don't care. All this has still been such a better experience than. Uh, you know, it just has been such a better experience than the newer Call of Duty games. So yeah, um, the rating, um, I'm going to be real honest. The maps are good, but not if you like fast pace, unless you're playing on Dome or any of the other small maps. It's basically like the new games, but people tend to play more slow and camp more in this game. Um, so yeah, just if you're going to play this, it's just a little heads up. A lot of people love to camp in this game and play this slow and... Love to really feel the game, so yeah, if you're not into that and you're one of those slight cancelling motherfuckers that basically ruined Call of Duty for everyone, yeah, d don't play this game. Just don't. Just don't. But the rating, overall, of course, there's not that many weapons and not many attachments, but I do gotta be real honest, all weapons are fully usable, I'm not gonna lie, I like the rifles, I like the SMGs, I like the shotguns, I like the snipers, I like the LMGs, like... I've seen everyone literally use every single weapon in the game almost. Like, it's not like they're so meta or something. Of course, there's the powerful MP40, but not a lot of people... Like, no one's pretty much using that, which is kind of funny to me. But the rating, like I said two times before... Yeah, about that rating, I just found out I forgot a full part of just the perks system in World at War. I'm gonna be real honest, I'm editing at 4 a.m. I'm tired i'm doing this voiceover at 4 a.m and everything uh the perks yeah the perks uh i love seeing juggernaut and everything in multiplayer um of course mortar dom coming back just being annoying as, as always but yeah um i just want to say the perk system i like it um there's nothing much else to say about it really i like that you can have a rocket launcher as a perk it's uh it, it's it's unique honestly it's unique but uh yeah let's get back to the rating I feel like this multiplayer deserves a good 7 out of 10. I'm going to be real honest. It's a good 7 out of 10. I like the map play for, of course, the play style of the people that play this map nowadays. It's a bit more slow. You could try and play fast, but just expect a bunch of people nearby just all together holding hands like they say in the new Call of Duties. But yeah, 7 out of 10 it is. And um, yeah, let's go on to my favorite mode of all time, Zombies. See you guys there. <sighs> Zombies, finally. See, this is something I can give an opinion about that some people will agree with. Maybe the multiplayer not so much, maybe the campaign not so much, but that's just... A lot of personal opinions, but World at War Zombies. I gotta say, of course, I'm not gonna give this a 10, because a 10 out of 10 would mean... <clears throat> <clears throat> but, you know, I gotta be real honest, I love World at War Zombies till this day. It's the creepy ambience, it's the, the smaller maps, it's the simplicity of zombies. It's, it's what we want in BO6, but instead we got this uh, Alpha Team, this is Chief of Security Blanchard. Are you a side for sore eyes? So, you know. But yeah, other than that, um, I gotta say, of course, gameplay-wise, it's the first ever Zombies mode, so we also gotta keep that in mind. So, the experience, it's creepy. I love it. Just like Verrucht, it's just amazing. Not too many people are so keen about, like, Shinonuma. Me, personally, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. I, I like Shinonuma. 
I I just I, I like the zip line, okay? But other than that, I gotta be real honest. Apart from the zombies literally grabbing you and just touching you up, zombies is amazing on World at War. I gotta be real honest. I put World at War zombies above Black Ops 2 zombies. I'm I'm just saying it right here, right now. And you might think, oh, yep, that's his opinion. It it's it doesn't matter anymore. Hear me out, all right? Well, that war is just, in my opinion, for the fifth Call of Duty game, it's overall just one of the best Call of Duty games ever created. The ambience, the feeling of the game itself, we don't feel that anymore in the newer Call of Duty games. And I'm not going to sit here and sh on BO2 because BO2 is still one of my favorite Call of Duty games. Not number one, but even then, I love BO2. But that rating is for another video. Haha, <laughs> you're going to have to wait for that one. But yeah, I got some uh, zombies clips, and I gotta be real honest, I play with two of probably the shittiest zombies players I know. No disrespect to you guys, I love you guys. I know you guys are watching right now as well, I'm very sorry. But yeah, I probably play with two of the shittiest zombies players I know, and I gotta say, man oh man, it's a blast playing zombies always with these two. So yeah, here come the clips. Yo, what's up my chilla? <laughs> <laughs> Do I just know what to tell me? Everybody, you just got trick shot. How do you feel? <laughs> How am Joe, I gonna whenever, do this? I'm out of ammo. Whenever a zombie really gets you, it really gets you relieved. It get, takes all the stress. Off. I genuinely have no ammo. Oh, oh. I died. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's enough to tell you guys how, you know, how we normally play zombies. And I gotta be real honest, I'm even surprised we made it to round 24. Hannon ended up having over 30 downs. Over 30 downs. And that's not it. If you count the counts, the, the count the counts, hmm, amazing. If you count the downs that Ghost had, I had about 50 revives. But hey, you don't hear me explaining, honestly. I'm just, I just have such a blast playing this game with these two at all times. So yeah, if you guys want a video on us simply just playing the game and just goofing around, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than willing to. But it's time for the rating. Will that were zombies, honestly? Four maps, which is kind of a meh, you know, to me, but we also got to keep in mind it is the first ever game with zombies. It's the fifth ever Call of Duty game released as well. So just for that, I'm just going to be giving it a 7 out of 10. I think a 7 out of 10 is reasonable purely because, I don't know, it's the simplicity. I love it, the ambience. I might up it to an 8 out of 10, honestly. Some change-ups. I think I'm going to rate the campaign an 8. And the multiplayer overall a 6 and the zombies an 8. Um, so yeah, that'll be... Hmm, let's see... 24! 24 and we survived 24 rounds. Isn't that absolutely perfect? Well, there you go everybody. 24 out of 30 points for Call of Duty World at War. If you guys want me to see me give my opinion on other Call of Duty games and make a video like this. Honestly, this is the first time I've ever made a documentary type video. Can I call it a documentary? I don't know. I really don't care anyway. But yeah, uh, this is my first time making one of these videos. If you guys want to see more, please let me know down in the comments. And as always, I think want to thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn notifications on. Stay tuned for a lot of more videos, of course, with the release of BL6. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.